Okay, we're going to be creating raised textures to objects. And we'll just pull out an arbitrary object, let's say a cylinder here. I'm going to make it a little larger so you guys can see what I'm doing with it. It doesn't matter what size it is, I'm just making it a little larger. So this is an object, it could be anything, airplane, whatnot. But we're going to use this to get started. So we want to put raised text on this, or raised um, texture. Um, one of the best textures to put on the side is just a name. Let's say I want to put my name on here. So, um, step one, I'm going to drag a text onto here, and this will be the raised texture here. I'm going to put my name in here. This will be Sensei. Oh, does that so often. Okay. Thank you. Sensei. And there we go. And I don't want this little guy here. I don't want that. Okay. So text. There we go. So sensei is on there. Let's get this out of the way. And I want to put sensei on the side, so I do have to turn it 90 degrees. And let me show you how I'm going to turn it 90 degrees. I'm going to kind of turn it around here so you can see it better. And you see all these little arcs right here? There's an arc there, arc there, arc there. This will let you spin the spin it around and I want to use this arc right here and I want 90 degrees spin now I could just kind of touch the arc and get the um, angles here and just kind of grab an angle there we go I got the arc and it'll start spinning around like this let me put it back where it was and this time I'm going to click the um, little rotation here and you'll notice that the zero can be changed to 90 so both of those are ways of getting a 90 degree change all right I want to back up a little bit back up there we go let's go back to the front and I want to make I want to resize sensei make it a little smaller so it'll kind of fit there so sensei shrink it and then as I shrink it uh, that looks pretty long there that's not bad okay I'm gonna lift sensei up and right about there now that's not quite centered but I'm not gonna worry about trying to center it um, not just yet. As long as I know this part right here is embedded, that's it's, it's really good. So we're just going to uh, put a rectangle around the whole thing. This is going to select all the objects. Uh, or, uh, and then we're going to go to um, this little function here called align. And we got all these little squares. I'm going to use the align right here. So we're going to click this and they both line up perfectly. I'm going to use that again. That really helps things. Alright, so there's my object. Okay. And that's how you add any object um, and center it. Next, we're going to be creating a shell. Creating a shell. Um, the way that we're going to create a shell is that we're going to um, select the object uh, that we want a shell. So, Sensei is what we're going to make it into a shell. And I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm not. We want to make the original object into a shell. So we're going to click that object. Okay, there it is. And then we're going to duplicate it. Okay. And now that's actually a shell. You can't see it because it's sitting right on top of itself. But I'm going to change the um, length and width. And I'm going to add two um, um, millimeters to it. So I'm going to click this little square down here. This says 54. I'm going to make it into 56. And this says 91. I'm going to make it into 93. And then um, the shell, that's the shell I just made. Uh, I'm going to get my shell even. Right now it's kind of stretched out. So we're going to select everything here. And then I'm going to go to my line again. And I'm going to line up everything once again. Just to keep everything very lined. You notice that the back is not aligned. But the front is. And that's all I need right now. I just need it to give me that little extra. Because I'm making a shell right now. So I'm going to click the outside, which is going to... Is actually clicking the shell, the piece that we duplicated, and we're going to turn that into a hole. And this is what I actually define as a shell, that little extra piece that we just made. Okay, so um, now that that's done, let me see what my next instructions are. Um, oh, we want to create molding. Okay, so we got our shell, now it's time for molding. Molding, I'm going to use, you can use anything for molding. I think the box is the easiest thing to use for molding. So I'll put a box right here. 
and we'll use that for the molding. And we're going to make it nice and big. Just drag it. And the molding needs to cover basically our um, shell here. So let's turn it around here, make it a little bigger. And then I'm going to raise it just enough to cover the shell. Just enough. Okay, oops, wrong one. I want to change the height of this. Okay, there we go. And just enough to cover the shell. There we go. All right. So now that we have that, so now we're going to take the um, shell and the molding and we're going to basically group them. So I'm going to hold down my shift button. So I'm holding down shift right now. And I'm going to touch the shell and I'm going to touch the molding. Okay, so they're both selected and we're going to group them. And ta da, there we go. Very good, very good. We're going to touch the, um, the molding and we're going to turn that into a hole. All right, there we go, there we go. And now we're going to select everything and group it. And wait a minute, and it should give us that little extra piece. There we go, there we go, take a look. And there's our raised textured piece, and I used a name, so it looks nice. And it's about two millimeters textured. That is sweet.